Welcome. Previously, from 1 to 2, lesson 9, we were dealing with effects of heat on substances and we have done the heating curve. So today, lesson 10, we want to proceed to the cooling curve and we are going to see what happens when water vapor or steam is cooled. So previous class, we have done the heating curve and we said for you to know whether the curve you have is a cooling curve or a heating curve, what you are supposed to do is you go to the y-axis, that's the temperature, to check whether the temperature is decreasing or whether the temperature is increasing. So if the temperature is increasing, the type of curve that you have is a heating curve. But if the temperature is dropping or decreasing, that's a cooling curve. So we are supposed to explain the following regions. That's region AB, region BC, region CD, and also region D, and also E. So, just like the way we have explained the heating curve, we are supposed to know the states in the following regions. Region AB, BC, CD, and also D and E also. So, when we are having A and B, we are going to have the gaseous phase. So here, we are having the gaseous state, then B and C, it is where the gas is being converted to liquid, to liquid water. So here, we are having CD, it is the liquid phase or the liquid state, and in region D and E, we are having the liquid being converted to solid. So if we could have other thing here, we could have written the solid state or the solid phase. So we're supposed to explain what happened in region AB, BC, CD, and also D and E. So we're saying region AB, the temperature decreases steadily because we have seen the temperature has dropped or has decreased steadily as the vapor or as the gas loses heat energy. When we are talking about the heating curve, we said the temperature increases steadily as solid absorbs heat energy. So this is a cooling curve. We are talking about the opposite of what we have done in the heating curve. So we are going to say the temperature decreases steadily as the vapor or water vapor loses heat energy. So when it loses the heat energy, we are told the heat energy lost decreases the kinetic energy of the gaseous particles or the gas particles hence they slow down if you remember when we we're talking about the heating curve we said the heat energy absorbs is used to increase the kinetic energy of the solid particles hence they vibrate more vigorously so here we are talking about the cooling curve we will talk about the opposite of what we have said in the heating curve so we are going to proceed to region bc when we are told in region BC, the temperature remains constant until all the vapor condenses. That means until all the steam or water vapor condenses. That means until they are converted from gaseous state to liquid state. Then the heat lost is used to strengthen the force of attraction holding the particles of vapor together. So we're saying, therefore, the particles easily attract their neighboring particles and move close, and the vapor changes its state from gas to liquid. And next, we are going to go to CD. So once you know what happens in region AB, you also know CD. If you know region BC, you also know region D and E. So we're going to go to CD. So we're saying the temperature decreases steadily, as liquid water or liquid ice loses heat energy or further loses heat energy the heat energy lost decreases further the kinetic energy of the particles so they will slow down so in the last region we are having region d e and e and we are saying the temperature remains constant until all the ice freezes what does that mean all the ice being converted from liquid to, 
the suit. They were saying the heat lost seems to further strengthen the force of attraction holding the particles of liquid ice together. Remember, when we are dealing with region B and C, we said the the loss, the heat lost is uh, used to strengthen the forces. When we are in D and, D and E, the heat lost is further strengthened or is used to further strengthen the force of traction holding the particles of liquid water together. Therefore, the particles move closer and take up fixed positions. Learners, that is the end of our video. Thank you for watching.